Every year, millions of drivers pour expensive bottles of Miracle Oil additives into their engines, hoping to boost performance, restore compression, or stop oil burning. But here's the uncomfortable truth. In lab tests across dozens of real engines, most of those additives not only failed to help, they actually increased wear, clogged filters, and destroyed seals. Some mechanics know this. That's why they never tell you about the additives that truly work because those are the ones that cut into repair profits. So today, we're breaking it all down. The science, the myths, and the few hidden formulas that actually protect engines. And trust me, by the end, you'll never look at those tiny bottles of magic the same way again. Section 1. What oil additives actually do and don't do. First, let's get the science straight. All modern engine oils, synthetic or conventional, already contain additive packages. They include detergents to keep metal clean, anti-wear agents like zinc, ZDDP, dispersants to suspend sludge, friction modifiers to reduce drag, viscosity stabilizers to keep oil consistent under heat. These come pre-mixed and precision balanced by companies like Mobil, Castrol, and Valvoline, tested under extreme conditions. When you dump a random aftermarket additive into that mix, you're not boosting performance. You're changing the chemistry that oil engineers spent millions designing. Think of it like adding salt to a perfectly seasoned dish. You're not improving it. You're just throwing off the balance. Section 2. The Three Types of Additives Mechanics Warn About Let's break down the most common types of oil additives and what really happens inside your engine when you use them. 1. Thickening Additives Stop leak slash high mileage formulas. These claim to stop oil burning by sealing gaps and restoring compression. In reality, they just thicken your oil with polymers, reducing flow and increasing startup wear. Engines tested with stop leak additives showed up to 22% slower oil pressure buildup on cold starts, according to an SAE study. That means your bearings, camshafts, and lifters are running dry longer, the exact opposite of what you want. Worse, those same polymers can clog oil filters, starving your top end of lubrication. Mechanics call these liquid band-aids. They hide symptoms for a few weeks, until a seal blows or an engine overheats. 2. Friction Modifier Additives PTFE slash Teflon-based additives You've probably seen claims like reduces friction by 60% or makes engines run smoother instantly. These are Teflon, PTFE, or ceramic particle additives like Slick 50 or Prolong. Here's the real problem. Teflon was never designed for internal combustion engines. When added to oil, these microscopic particles can settle in filters, coat sensors, and even clog oil passages in precision areas. In one Department of Energy test, PTFE-based additives increased filter restriction by 18% after just 1,500 miles. The scary part, engines didn't fail immediately. They slowly suffocated from restricted oil flow. That's why even DuPont, the original creator of Teflon, publicly stated, Teflon is not suitable for internal engine lubrication, yet companies still sell it because it feels smoother right after application. A psychological trick, not a mechanical improvement. Three, metal-infused additives, zinc, moly, or copper boosters. You'll also see additives bragging about molybdenum protection or zinc-enriched formulas. Yes, ZDDP, zinc, dial-kill dithiophosphate, and moly are real anti-wear agents. But here's the issue. More doesn't mean better. When you exceed a certain concentration, zinc and moly can react with each other, forming corrosive byproducts that attack bearings and catalytic converters. According to Nissan's engineering white paper, excess zinc causes phosphorus poisoning in catalytic converters, one of the top reasons for early emission failures. So if your car isn't a classic with a flat tappet camshaft, adding more ZDDP can do more harm than good. Section 3. The truth mechanics don't tell you, because it hurts business. Here's where it gets interesting. There are a few additives that genuinely work but they're rarely sold to the public. Professional mechanics and performance tuners use industrial-grade lubricity enhancers like boron-based friction modifiers, polyalpha-olefin PAO stabilizers, group four ester cleaners. 
These aren't found in $10 bottles at auto stores. They're used in race engines, aviation applications, and long-drain diesel systems. Why don't your mechanics tell you this? Because they don't make money when your engine runs longer. Shops profit from repairs, not from you preventing them. That's why the additives that work are hidden behind professional supply chains and OEM approval systems. Section 4. The Additives That Actually Work, Proven by Science Now that we've cleared out the snake oil, let's focus on the few scientifically proven oil additives that do make a difference when used correctly. Because the truth is, the right chemistry can extend engine life, but only if it's backed by data, not flashy marketing. Here are the three additive technologies that even automakers quietly use behind the scenes. 1. Boron-based friction modifiers, the silent protector. Boron compounds are one of the most underrated secrets in modern lubrication. They don't just reduce friction, they chemically bond with metal surfaces, forming a microscopic protective layer that reduces wear at a molecular level. According to research from the U.S. Department of Energy, boron additives lowered internal friction by up to 35% and improved fuel economy by 1-2%. to That might not sound like much, but over 100,000 miles it can save hundreds of dollars in fuel and thousands in reduced wear. That's why companies like Mobile One ESP, Amsoil Signature Series, and Liqui Moly Top Tech already integrate boron compounds directly into their premium oils. Here's the catch. You won't see boron written on the bottle. You'll only find it in technical data sheets. Mechanics know, but most consumers never look. Boron isn't about marketing. It's about molecular level protection. Quiet, effective, and invisible. Exactly why professionals trust it. Two. Molybdenum Disulfide, MOS2, the real friction killer. This one's been used for decades, even in space missions. Molybdenum Disulfide, or MOS2, forms a crystalline shield on metal surfaces that continues to protect even if oil pressure drops. NASA tested it during the Apollo program because engines treated with MOS2 could keep running after complete oil loss for several minutes. That's not hype, that's physics. Modern studies confirm that MOS2 reduces friction by up to 50% under boundary conditions, where metal surfaces almost touch. That's why performance mechanics still use products like Liqui Moly MOS2 additive in older or high load engines. But, and this is key, MOS2 should never be mixed with unknown aftermarket chemicals or PTFE, Teflon additives. Used alone in quality oil, it's gold. Mixed with marketing gimmicks, it's sludge. 3. Polyalpha Olefin, PAO, and Ester Boosters, used by OEM engineers. This isn't sold as a bottle you can pour in. It's what premium synthetic oils are built on. PAO and ester molecules have polar bonding, meaning they cling to metal surfaces even after shutdown, keeping a thin film of protection at all times. That's why top-tier oils like Redline, Motul 300V, and Amsoil can handle extreme heat and high mileage without breakdown. Automakers like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Porsche rely on PAO ester blends because they outperform any aftermarket additive on the shelf. Here's the twist. When you pay for real synthetic oil, you're already buying these advanced additives pre-engineered and balanced. Pouring in more enhancers after that? Like pouring sugar into soda, you're not improving it. You're ruining the formula. Section 5. The Additives Automakers Secretly Use But Never Tell You Most people don't know this, but major car manufacturers do use special additive treatments, just not the kind you buy at the store. Let's look behind the curtain. 1. Toyota's Factory Fill Moly Blend Oil Every new Toyota engine leaves the factory filled with an oil blend containing molybdenum disulfide. It's part of their strategy to reduce friction during the crucial break-in period. But they never advertise it because they want you to stick to OEM oil, not third-party additives. When you switch to a cheap bulk oil and add random boosters, you're actually diluting the same chemistry Toyota already perfected. 2. BMW's German Ester Boosters BMW and Mercedes use proprietary ester-based additives in their high-performance oils. These molecules have a natural polarity, meaning they attract to metal like a magnet, creating a slick, heat-resistant barrier. 
That's why engines like the BMW M Series can rev to 8,000 RPM safely. The oil chemistry itself is part of the engineering. But again, if you pour in an aftermarket additive, you disrupt that delicate chemical harmony. 3. Honda's Friction Reducing Zinc Technology Honda's Zero W20 Full Synthetics use a balanced zinc phosphorus formula to protect tight tolerance engines while minimizing catalytic converter wear. They don't call it an additive, but that's exactly what it is, a carefully measured anti-wear system. So if you're driving a Honda or Acura, you're already using additive tech, straight from the factory. Section 6. The DIY Additive That Actually Works and Costs $2 Here's the part most mechanics don't want you to know. The best way to improve your oil's performance doesn't involve additives at all. It's called a controlled partial oil change. Instead of waiting 7,000 miles to replace all your oil, drain just one quart every 2,000 miles and top up with fresh oil. Why does this work? Because oil additives, the real ones inside your motor oil, slowly break down over time. By refreshing just a quart, you're replenishing detergents, dispersants, and anti-wear agents before they're depleted. Independent tests by Project Farm showed that partial oil refreshes reduced engine wear by up to 20% over 10,000 miles, without adding any third-party chemicals. So instead of wasting $25 on a mystery bottle, spend $2 on fresh oil, and you'll outperform 90% of those additive believers. Section 7 when additives actually cause engine failure. Still think all additives are harmless. Here's what really happens when they go wrong. 1. Catalytic Converter Poisoning Many zinc or phosphorus-heavy additives release compounds that coat the inside of catalytic converters. Once coated, the converter can't neutralize emissions properly, triggering a check engine light, P0420, and costing $1,000 plus to replace. 2. Oil Filter Collapse Thickening agents in cheap stop leak additives can cause your oil filter to collapse under pressure. This cuts off oil flow, and if you're driving at highway speeds when it happens, your bearings can seize in seconds. This has been documented in ASE technician reports across Ford, GM, and Toyota vehicles. 3. Sensor Contamination PTFE and ceramic particles can coat oil pressure sensors, causing false readings that lead to wrong diagnostics. You might think your oil pump's failing, replace it, and spend $800. Prowance? When it was the additive the whole time. 4. Sludge Formation from Additive Clash If you've ever mixed brands, say Lucas with STP or Marvel Mystery Oil with Seafoam, you may have caused Additive Clash where competing chemicals react to form sticky residues. These can gum up oil control rings and cause smoking, oil loss, or hydraulic lifter noise. When in doubt, never mix brands. If you want to clean your engine, use one trusted product and follow instructions exactly, or just shorten your oil interval. Section 8. The Real Secret Mechanics Keep Quiet About Now we get to the part most viewers never hear, because it doesn't make anyone money. The truth is, consistent oil changes with top quality synthetic oil outperform any additive ever made, period. When you use a premium oil like Mobile One, Amsoil, or Castrol Edge, you're already getting one of the most complex chemical formulas ever engineered, with hundreds of hours of lab testing behind it. And mechanics know that if you follow your oil schedule religiously, your engine might outlive the car itself. That's why the additive industry exists. It's built on your fear that you're not doing enough, but you are. Regular maintenance, not miracle bottles, is the real secret to long-lasting performance. So after all the testing, expert reviews, and scientific data, here's the final truth. Oil additives can't replace good oil, and good oil doesn't need extra additives. If you want real protection, invest in high-quality full synthetic oil, a reliable OEM filter, and consistent maintenance. That's the formula that race teams, fleet mechanics, and engineers trust. Not a $15 bottle with shiny promises. So hit that subscribe button, share this with a friend who swears by additives, and remember, your engine doesn't need magic. It needs consistency.